My Scottish trip is slowly coming to an end. I was spending my next days in Dumfries. After completing a job and on my way back from Stranraer, another place caught my attention. I just can't believe the Scottish weather is so generous to me. Just look around. I'm at Loch Cairn today and I'm just gonna mess around a little bit. <laughs> Loch Cairn is situated on the edge of Galloway Forest Park. I also had an opportunity to have a look at Claringshaw's Loch. It looked wonderful, perhaps on another occasion. So my starting point on Loch Cairn today is a public slipway just next to an old railway bridge. Here's a postcode for you, just in case. A few parking spaces can be found here, and both the parking and access are free of charge. There is a Loch Ken Holiday Park nearby. And so, I'm setting off and paddling upstream, to the north. The views are very pleasant, and that's all thanks to a sunny day. Despite the main road going along the shore, I can already feel it's going to be a great trip. So beautiful today. A little bit chilly, but beautiful. I've just been instructed to travel to the other side of the lock. Because apparently that side is for motorboats. I'm just passing by a local marina. This one is also responsible for the public slipway we started from. Okay, onwards. Look at these reflections. Absolutely stunning. This motorboat is passing by at high speed. Uh, that means I'm gonna get some wake in a moment. However, I'm so far away that until this wake reaches me, it has weakened significantly and instead of making me bump off it, it created a cool warping visual effect on the water. I like it. And where's the sun gun? It's still beautiful, regardless. It's so quiet that you can really switch off for a moment. Feeling this, you don't really want to go back to all this rat race in a busy city. And a small island on the loch. I decided to traverse the lock again. The wind is picking up on speed and it's creating small waves that are moving upstream. I have reached Loch Kent's activity center. Parking and launching from here is allowed, but the center will charge you 10 pounds for it. Well, I felt stingy today and that's why I launched from a public slipway instead. All right, it's time to head back. 
It seems like conditions can turn from sunny and nice to cloudy and terribly windy again. <laughs> and once more I'm getting a proper workout. Oh well, <laughs> let's go paddling. What's going on? It was so beautiful and now it's starting to rain. Oh come on! Yeah, I said the weather was generous, but I didn't mean that generous. Farmlands and pastures intertwine with forests. There are sheep everywhere. You can hear ravens from a distance. And a pheasant just next to me. And there is even a tree growing off the bridge. That's interesting. Well, I guess that might be another of those only in Scotland things. I hope you enjoyed this tiny 9km round journey. It beautifully compensates me my failed trip on Loch Lomond. And what did I do with that failed trip? You can check it right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully meet you in the next one.